Hello everyone, it's me Christine again. No, you are not in the wrong channel. I just saw that Christine is up to something with this hollow taco thing. I'm very curious to what she does, so I decided to gear up for the occasion. <laughs> I had to do this. This is the first attempt of turning my favorite YouTubers into prints or patterns. I don't know how you call that. Simply Neological is by far one of my favorite YouTubers and I am a holosexual. So why not start with her? For the pattern, I decided to make stamps with Menchi, Zyler, elements from her new website holotaco.com where you can find the countdown I'm talking about, this weird french fry thing, an X, an hexagon and the holotaco logo. That is really cool by the way. After drawing them on top of the rubber, I proceeded to carve every single stamp and once I was done, it was time to stamp it onto the fabric using fabric paint, of course. But first... Steve! 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 Thank you. Stamp, 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 everybody! Yes, I know I am lame. Leave me alone. I wanted something random, so I just went for it and I put first a lot of xylers, then I proceeded to add menchies and all of the other things until I was satisfied with the quantity and the distribution of the elements onto my fabric. Of course, the hollow taco needs to be something special, so I am taking the lessons that I learned from the queen herself and I'm doing a gradient by using a simple sponge and adding two different colors dab 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 and stamp it away and now what's on my other hand my hand is full with fabric paint and it creates a beautiful effect of a very badly done gradient on my nails and it will not get off until I bathe at least four times this is the ultimate hobo look <laughs> Ta-da! This is all of the fabric. Now I'm gonna cut the hollow taco in half just to use the taco and I will add some flying tacos here in the empty spaces so that we have something closed. The lonely tacos were also done in a gradient manner using yellow and orange and I think they look pretty cute. Ah! Damn it! Then I just fill the blanks with other elements. Can you stay still, Marie? No. No! And that is the final deal. Ooh, that fabric. I like it. Look at my hands. Pants and hoodie. I cut all of the pieces using clothes that I already have because I did not want to draw a new pattern just for that. It works 98% of the time. Then I sewed everything using my serger. For this kind of fabric it's the best solution. But in case you don't have a serger you can sew it by hand or using the normal one. I'm almost a sock! The fabric shop that I went to did not have hollow trimmings but I did find one in black with silver glitter that it's really cool to look at if you have the correct light which i don't oh yeah it's time for the reveal but before that if you like crazy diy projects and sewing shenanigans subscribe and you will get that each friday more or less oh yeah i am wearing hollow shoes now that I'm covered in xylers and menchies and tacos, I can finally assume my sock form and enjoy whatever it is that Christine is bringing out. This is the slash squat. So. It better be good, Christine. Activate the sock mode. Oh yeah. I don't have pockets here. It better be good. This is a very nice project for those of you who 
don't know what to wear someday and feel like you need to revamp some of your clothes, making stamps yourself, it's pretty easy, the materials are not expensive and this is something that you can quickly apply to your fabrics, clothes that you already own, to give it another look. I really enjoy making stamped fabrics for my projects. And being in the company of Manchi and Zyler is not a bad thing either. I have two cats of my own, but you can never have enough cats. Give me all the cats! I have pockets. <laughs> and my hands will never be white again. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see y'all later. Bye!